Hey everyone, welcome to One Stop Learning Platform. In this video, let's understand the concept of contraception. What is contraception? A device or drug or method serving to prevent pregnancy, control the birth, is called contraception. Contraceptive methods are used to prevent the unwanted pregnancy and to control the population growth. A wide range of contraceptive methods are presently available which could be broadly grouped into the different categories. They are natural methods, barrier methods, intrauterine devices, oral contraceptives, injection and implants, and surgical methods. Natural or traditional contraception works on the principle of avoiding the meeting of ovum and sperm. In periodic abstinence, couple avoids or abstains from coitus from day 1017 of the menstrual cycle when ovulation is expected to occur. In coitus interruptus, the male partner withdraws his penis from the vagina just before ejaculation. So as to avoid insemination, lactational amenorrhea works based on the principle that during the period of lactation after parturition, ovulation does not occur. Periodic abstinence is also called calendar method. In this method, couple avoids or abstains from coitus from day 10 to 17 of the menstrual cycle when ovulation is expected to occur. As the chance of fertilization is very high during this period, it is called the fertile period. Coitus interruptus is also known as withdrawal method. Withdrawal is a method in which the male partner withdraws his penis from the vagina just before ejaculation so as to avoid insemination. Lactational amenorrhea so-called absence of menstruation. Lactational amenorrhea works based on the principle that during the period of lactation after parturition, ovulation does not occur. Barrier methods. These methods prevent the contact of sperm and ovum with the help of barriers. Such methods are available for both males and females. Condoms. Condom's thin rubber latex sheath is used to cover the penis in the male or vagina and cervix in females. Diaphragms, vaults, cervical caps are the barriers made of rubber that are inserted into the female reproductive tract to cover the cervix during coitus. Spermicidal creams, jellies, and foams are used along with these barriers to increase their contraceptive efficiency. Mechanical barriers act as a physical barrier between the sperm and the egg. The male condom, female condom, diaphragm, cervical cap, and sponge are all examples of mechanical barriers. Intrauterine devices. These devices are inserted by doctors or expert nurses in the uterus through the vagina. There are of three categories in intrauterine devices. Non-medicated IUDs, copper-releasing IUDs, hormone-releasing IUDs, Non-medicated IUDs increase phagocytosis of sperms within the uterus. Copper-releasing IUDs suppress sperm motility and fertilizing capacity of sperms. Hormone-releasing IUDs make the uterus unsuitable for implantation and the cervix hostile to sperms. Lipase loop is a non-medicated intrauterine device, attracts the macrophages, stimulating them to accumulate in the uterine cavity, and increases the phagocytosis of the sperms. These are first-generation IUDs and last for three, five years. Copper-releasing IUDs are second-generation IUDs and copper-made. QT, QT200, Q7, Multi-Load 375 are few examples. They release copper ions which suppress the activity or the motility of sperm inside the female reproductive tract. Hormone-releasing IUDs are third-generation IUDs. They make the uterus unsuitable for implantation and the cervix hostile to the sperms. LNG-20, Levonorgestrel, Progestacert are some some examples. Oral contraceptives, oral administration of small doses of either progestogen or progestogen-estrogen combinations, popularly called the pills. They inhibit ovulation and implantation as well as alter the quality of cervical mucus to prevent sweetard entry of sperms. Injection and implants. Progestogens alone or in combination with estrogen can also be used by females as injections or implants under the skin. 
effective periods are much longer. They inhibit ovulation and implantation, as well as alter the quality of cervical mucus to prevent retard entry of sperms. Surgical methods or sterilization methods are generally advised for the male-female partner as a terminal method to prevent any more pregnancies. Surgical intervention blocks gamete transport and thereby prevent conception. Sterilization procedure in the male is called vasectomy. In vasectomy, a small part of the VS deferens is removed or tied up through a small incision on the scrotum. Sterilization procedure in the female is called tubectomy. In tubectomy, a small part of the fallopian tube is removed or tied up through a small incision in the abdomen or through vagina. Here in this table, you will get the complete concept of contraction. Please read carefully. Don't forget to drop a like. If it was useful, share it with young, talented minds too. See you soon.